Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov, where it is cold out there. Wow, look at that, they're, uh, they're hauling all the firewood in. I used to live, most of the houses I've lived at have had fireplaces, the one I'm in right now doesn't, and I miss that. I miss the crackling fire on a cold night. How's the mayor doing? Mayor Otstep. Mm -hmm. uh, economy? How are we doing? Let's see here. We have, where are we? Well, we're at the beginning of the year, though. No, we're at the end of the year. It's snowing out, but January, December, it's December. So we have sold a little over $800 worth, and we've imported none. So if this didn't exist, we would be sitting at negative 400 right now. Okay. I think we were figured like negative 500 last time, so negative 400 this time. Be curious to see how we work ourselves out next time um what to be doing right now look at my notes we've got an ongoing potato trade happening okay where are we there trading post there are 12 potatoes in here and you guys are coming to take oh we have 40 cows coming that's right uh four four let's do four more so potato right there at four deal okay so those 12 are committed all right and do we want much more after that what is in town right now potatoes 30 and we're gonna clean these out and move all 30 right back into here let's take you down to like 15 so we won't empty the whole town of potatoes and speaking of emptying the town how about we add a couple more workers in here Family out of money. Um, so that we can bring in more than 0.7 potatoes after all this time. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Family out of money is over here. You are the Paradaries. And things seem to be working here. Unlike over here at Makita's house. Right there. Yeah, we're, we're constantly waiting for all these. And it's never getting there. Right there. And Sophia this one this one nothing gets here at all the wealth is going through the roof but nobody's bringing anything over so this house is broken what's over here now the Hubiches are out of money as well as the Paradaries we know about them they're doing fine over here we've been waiting for this stuff for a long time too and nothing's getting brought over so something broke in that house as well so I would imagine they're going to move out this, this episode. So we'll see if the Hubiches are still there later. Otherwise, what is happening before I turn the speed up and take off? We've got... Don't need anybody actually working here. None of these names sound familiar, so let them go. They're not among our bankrupt families. we got cattle coming, which is probably that right there. Another couple of days. Um... You guys aren't supposed to be employed right now. You know that, don't you? Who's out here? Peridaries are there. Two Peridaries are over here. All right, tell you what. We'll leave the Peridaries in there and keep them employed for a while. Everybody else needs to go away. Um, over here, we're good. Make sure I got all this stuff taken care of while we're waiting for the cows to come in. Now, last time we waited and waited and waited for... What was that? A house? I don't know what just made the noise. But because both cow sheds are still there and the other warehouse is still there. So I don't know what that was. But waited for the sunflower oil to arrive for those deals and nothing ever happened. And I was worried that, well, we were waiting too. Okay. I guess it's because the wagon was in here the whole time. And they were just, all four workers, or I think two at the beginning, were just constantly loading wagons. So they weren't available to walk over here. I was a little worried that over here was was grabbing it all and not letting loose of it. So you are carrying an empty cart. Um, last name of Blazko. Do you work here? Right there. So you just drop something off and you're dumping off the cart. Which is good. Get the job done, dump it off, and then go get it again and take off. So you want your carts as close to this as you can. You are actually work, walking behind the carts sneaking through that little tiny path and messing up my road. 
Yeah, okay. <clears throat> anyway, um, kettle? That's the path right there. They're not here yet. Okay. So, the warehouse is working. We're reserving and we're awaiting and it's, it's, it's moving in and out like it's supposed to. Okay. Wanted to make sure of that. Over here, you guys are grabbing some of it. So now we're getting it into here, which means all of these little market stalls are going to start getting it out of there. So that's working well. <clears throat> Over here, 13 potatoes left, or sunflowers left. And still have our hay and water for our oxen. Okay. Hmm. Do we want to leave that at 40? I kind of don't think so. Let's take you back down. What was in here? 13, so it's potential of 26 more. Plus there's... Uh, so, at least... What did I say? 13 and 7, so there's about 40 more available for the town. All grand total. And you've already got... Uh, we, we set it for 50, but I don't think we're capable of making 50 out of, out of this. So... I'm going to take you back down to like 20. Something like that. So that's a little better balance. We're going to have a lot of shoes coming in. But I really want to know if we can sell them to ourselves. Let's stop at the 5 for now. Let's do that. Cattle? Well, what would have thought you'd be here by now? I mean, I'm running it slow, but two days still goes by fairly quick. I didn't miss you, did I? And where are they going to go? And think about that. Are they going to come in and orderly split off and go to the different sheds? Three, four, five, and six, and almost two more over there. <laughs> Look at that. That's a herd of cattle. That's a cattle drive. Mm-hmm. All walking in unison. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Anyway, let them do their thing. Um, in that case, let's go ahead and get the the uh, slaughterhouse working. Get two guys lined up for this job and get them on their way. Tanner, get you in your, on your way. One would be enough there, but I want to see if we can't move them through the slaughterhouse pretty quick. It'd be nice to get somebody in there though we'll wait till the cows get here family out of money you're the makita family or makita's a first name but i'll call you the makita family over here still got nobody really hey to have to pay more money just to bribe you to go to work it's all kind of houses over here okay the cows have split off so let's um take you down to one speed and let's watch what happens now i'm assuming you're going to split off and go to all the different places Otherwise, we're in trouble. Because we're going to send 40 cows into... Really? Into something that can handle 20. Now, what does that do to the game? Do I want to know? Hmm. Okay. Well, you're on your way. Do I need to click to refresh? I did, and it did. Wow. Well, let's stop there before the game kind of breaks. Let's move all the oxen into, say, this one. What do we have over here? Cow, bull, cow, and then some babies. Okay. Let's move 10 oxen into there real quick. So, grab you guys. So, I guess I'm going to have to do the splitting off. Another one there. So, that guy. Is that five? Six, or did that first one not really work? It felt like nothing happened the first one that I did. Every time I touch this, my screen moves over. Seems like Banish used to do that to me. There. Okay, so the list doesn't stay. That's that's a little annoying. And there I'm scooting again. <laughs> There's another one, and I see one more down below. So you're going into there. And we'll reset you from there. Another one there. All right, so that's all of you guys. Let's... No more ox, right? No more. Okay. You guys are not real yet. All right. 
You will be soon, but we still got to stock you. So we're not going to be able to do anything with there. All right, so we still have officially 33. So we bought 10 ox in, or 10 oxen and we had 43, so that works. All right, so over here we have available a bull, two cows, and some babies. Hmm, that one into there. Let's move all the extra bulls into here and we'll start slaughtering all of those. So you're gonna go here. So we've gotta, gotta divvy up the cattle that just arrived and kinda aim them in the right direction as they're coming in. Yeah. Oh, gonna have to scroll for every one of them, huh? Hmm, another couple bowls. I would think I'd wanna leave one. So let's grab these two into there. That one. Okay, so that leaves us with 24. So let's move. Don't know what's going to be in here because it's not going to update till they actually move. So let's move two cows into there, two cows into here, two cows into there. All right, down to 18 now. So now we're a number that hopefully the uh, uh, the sheds can handle. 18 and. We're going to be 10, 11, 12, and the 6 or 7 are already there. That's going to be the fullest, I think. All right. When does it reset? Well, they're coming out. At least one is. You are citizen. Oh, you came in with a trade. Okay. So we suddenly have 17. Boom. One cow represents all of it. All right. Over here, 4. 18. Where's the ones that are going to move into all of these? We'll have to wait for a worker to go and send them out. We've got milk over here. Nothing's happening. Okay, there goes a cow. And she's actually leading it. Maybe she came in from one of the cattle. Let's see, you are Sitsvana. Do you work here? Nope, so you must work here. Yep, so you are taking them out and putting them where they belong. 17 over there, okay? So now we gotta wait for her to get back or for Polina. Who are you? <laughs> um, okay. Where'd you go? Where'd that cow go? Oh, we have a front door over here, okay. So you are 17, okay. And you're bringing them over here, so we're gonna see this load pop in there. We only moved two? I guess we just moved two cows over. I think so, these two got everything. All right, let's pause there then. I wanna get everything moving along here, so do that. Did we ever get anybody move? move? Okay, we got uh, Fetter. Fetter's in there. Okay. So you unpause. You can go ahead and get to work on these guys. It's staying this time. Okay, yes, because I'm not moving them out of the list. Okay. So grab all the oxen. We'll turn you guys into Nikes. Alright, so that leaves us with a one year old cow, a one year old bull, and three other cows. So a bull and, and four cows. Over here, we want to be left with a bowl, so we'll get rid of all but one bowl. Although, I may want a bowl to go into those other two. Okay, let's hold off about uh, on that just yet. So, leaves one for this one, one for over there, one for over there. There's an extra. Okay, it just moved on me, so I think someone came and got one. So, if I take out two, that leaves me one, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Okay, we'll go with that for now. So those are all the ones we'll mark to slaughter first round. Then we'll kind of weigh things out again, spread them all out, and decide if we're going to get more to fill in more of the blanks. Though, I'm hesitant to bring in 40 at a time now. That, hmm, keep an eye on this one. But you are working. Tanner is working, good. Uh, we have somebody, let's see, next step is right here. Three people over here. And we're not really doing a lot. So we're out of leather and we've got all the hemp in that we can get, right? 
over here. Yeah, so we don't need two guys in here at the moment. So let's just take one of you guys out. Um, there's a Paraday. A per Paradary. Really? That's a Paradary? And you here. Paradary. So Moros, Mar Mar Miroslav and where was I? Was I here? Right there. H-R-Y-H. Hryori. Hmm, that's a mouthful. Harry Darius, you're over here, right? Well, family's moving out. You're over here, but we've lost the... What were they? The, the coop chips or something like that? So Harry Darius are over here, and we've got... Ooh, interesting. The one that starts with an M is in here. He's 31. Okay, let's unravel a mystery here. Do we have two people with the same last name? And is one possibly... Okay, that's the one from that house. Over here. Is one possibly a son? All right, you there, find home. Your home's over here. You are 34. So you're not a son of someone that maybe married and grabbed a house. Okay, so that's not the case. Did I... I did. So fishing docks empty. That was a cow shed. Really? I thought the cow shed was done a long time ago. Maybe they just, yep, they just did the la very last step. Okay. So I must have been sitting there waiting for a worker. So let's bring in two workers and get that brought in. We'll get the cows moved around. But what's happening over here? I guess we can go ahead and kick the speed up a little bit and kind of watch in here. We're ending December. I know we're in the... Oh, you're buying potatoes or something right yeah so just brought a cow over and that's boy that looks like meat we've got beef rolling out hmm and it's cold as outside I don't think it's gonna spoil at all and where are you going with that <clears throat> that's a full one beef one beef so two barrels is a total of one and you are on your way to over here so we got a load of beef on its way in waiting 1.1 so somebody is bringing in a point one Mikola Ivaninko and you're bringing in no you're bringing in the no card is empty why the point one is she also bringing in a point one carrying a point one of beef so she's off doing her own thing too interesting beefs on the table and they're all Heading in to grab some. Reserve 0.5. We've got one and a half in here ready. Hides six. So that is tannery right there. You should be heading out there grabbing hides. Do we want to help you out? I guess we could get you just employed for a while. You guys are going to go through, gobble through this really quick and be done. One is going to take her time. will be right over here. So Valia... Uh, Moosey. So she'll be working at the uh, one-tenth marks here and there. So she'll be she'll be busy for a while. That's good. Alright. So this is real and we have hand water. Okay. Let's grab what? This one? I know there's an extra bowl over here. So you need to live over there. And a couple of cows need to live well from this one though? Wait a minute. All the cows yeah not from this one the four cows there this one cow 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 no just really just the three adult cows and some babies okay so this one cow cow there we've got some extras all right you can head over to there and you can head over to there we've got a bowl cow cow and one more and one more I think that gives me four and one. Okay, we'll do that. And that still leaves 14 for the other one over there. So this one now has, besides ox, three cows, four cows and a bull. So that's the pattern I think I'm going to set up. Four cows and a bull. This one, again, one, two, three. Those are a four-year-old in there. Maybe that one heads to the slaughter, too. 
Do we have in here eight cows? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There is there is room. So slaughter the older one and I hate the word slaughter. It, it, it sounds so graphic, but uh, it's what it is. So put to rest the four-year-old cow. Okay. Um, any other mysteries? You're leaving. You now have a total of 2.5 potatoes. And you guys can go get more. What was that rolling in? That's just a cart. Okay. Carrying more beef, right? Well, that's more potatoes. And you're bringing it in right now. And you brought it in. I was going to say you guys can start bringing it in from the farm over here. And you're doing it. Okay. So the Perry Dairies from two different households. So let's see who you are. Find home. You're there. And you got 21. You're doing pretty good. Okay. You are a family moving in. So this family moved out. And new family moving in. They're going to roll the dice and make their go of it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it works better for them. I still think there was something bugged there. I think something went wrong. I think that's what it was. Uh, otherwise, we've had trouble here. You guys are doing decent now. We had a lot of trouble right over here. And I don't get that one. Trading posts and market stall. There's some. There's two and a half uh, wages in that combination. Now that was this... Where am I? Right there. The snow it makes it hard to recognize. That was this warehouse. So let's bring in two here. And let's bring in a whole bunch of firewood. Right there. And let's bring in a hundred firewood. Okay. Um, men only. Sorry. Right there. I want to be hauling firewood by carts. And no labor. Okay. Try that again. So two men over there. Otherwise, how's the uh, job force over here? Still got two guys who are have stored. You are taking a rest and you are working and you're going to go grab another cow. Okay, that's still working. Over here, we've got Radovan. Okay, you're taking a rest and nobody else has jumped into this one. We've got, what was it over here? We have five hides waiting for you guys. But it doesn't have to be all that fast does it let's turn that off you guys take your time because she can only make it so fast and we do have 0.6 shoes stored here but shoes are sold out in places like this one we have 0.4 shoes do any of the households say that they have shoes is that something that is stored in the house or is that something that is worn on the feet how does it deal with something like that do they want to maintain a certain amount of shoes and a certain amount of clothes and a certain amount of sunflower oil? So far, I haven't seen a shoe in any of them. We know they're out there. So maybe that's not a thing. Okay. We should have shoes in this one. We don't. Because you didn't get, didn't get any yet? What is happening here? That's where Anastasia lives. But she's not in this save, so she should be fine. But we're waiting all this, and another house has got nothing uh, functioning. Just like Sophia's house. Nothing functioning. So I think we've got some broken houses in town. I think that's probably going to be creeping into uh, a save problem eventually. So, no shoes. Still looking for shoes. So if a day goes by and you don't hear from me, waiting shoes then and another day goes by and another one and no more Oster videos maybe that I could never get it to start up again with these houses that are starting to bug out a little bit it's possible that's going to build up then I've got to decide whether to start a new I probably won't start a new town until patch 5 shows up which will have chickens at least that's that's the plan right now and which means it's probably going to be a little while before it shows up because you've got to make the you know the chicken model and you've got to uh figure out how not to get it stuck in the field. <laughs> you gotta make them walk, animate them. You gotta figure out the code to control them. You gotta build the chicken coop. You got to teach all the other buildings how to deal with chicken and eggs and all that. And maybe at the same time kick out a bakery. 
and then all the code that belongs to that. So you can imagine just the simple act of introducing chickens is not a simple act. There's a lot of code that goes into that. A lot of graphic art, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. Sounds. Let's see if there's any uh, burr, 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 burr going on. Family out of money. You are over here. That's because you're buying clothes. No shoes though. So there was one over here that was going to get shoes. Still awaiting shoes. And we got milk. Ooh. They must be a rich family. Yeah. By some of the standards they are, but I guess they're more middle class. There's a rich family. That is not the mayor either. That is the um, smithy. He has been there the whole time and he's raking in the dough. Yep, good job. Right over there. You're still at, oh, you're at 110%. I'm just thankful to keep you over there. But actually, you know, maybe we do need to reduce that back down. That is fairly close. So it shouldn't be that difficult to maintain. 850 nails. And this is where the nails are supposed to go. Right there. So most of them are in there. We've got three guys. They're bringing back thatch and wood. And the wood has then been taken out to build things like this. And things like... Mm, should we release all the houses? We probably should. Although, where are we? We're in a January. Yeah, we probably should. Continue there. Not getting a lot done this episode. Boy, that's frustrating. I go to click and I assume that it moved. It still didn't. Click again. There we go. So I'm pausing when I just unpaused because it didn't move. All right. With all that, family out of money. Yeah. Buying clothes again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This family over here, both are employed. The cow shed and constructing. So walked right in and immediately got a good job. Good job. <laughs> okay. So let's kick this speed up, right? I haven't missed any announcements. Nope. All right. Speed's going up. We're good until we get to March 1st or a little before then. Anything else to be watching while that's happening? Um, shoe production. Let's watch that chain again. Um, 11 hides are in there. That's a lot. Have we done the job? Where are we? There? Nope, we have a couple of oxen left. So again, right there. That roof is so hard to see and we're waiting for another one. Okay, they're doing their thing. Over here, we've just gradually, one at a time, going to get the get the hides. <clears throat> Turn it into leather. We're doing it right now. Okay. And off to get another hide. Good, that's working fine. You guys are supposed to be picking it up right there. And awaiting leather. They're doing it. And she's supposed to be making shoes. And shoes are being reserved and taken out. And you got shoes in storage. You're going out to get more leather. Hmm. you got to make a lot of leather trips to make a pair of shoes. Because you only get one at a time. I wonder if we want to make this a man so we can bring a larger quantity at once. Or I guess we can hire two women for the job. One picking up while one is uh, um, working on them. Okay, we'll do that. Another permanent job for this area. Okay, that's good. Otherwise, you are the one with the shoes and reserve shoes that are leaving. <clears throat> okay, that's working well. New markets over here. I'm kind of giving up on looking at these. Yeah, that one doesn't make sense. So some of these are broken and they're just going to have to be replaced. Let's put some markets over here. That's, that's on my list and that needs to be done. Okay, run you at one. I don't want the time to get away from me. That's not running. I'll run you at two. Let's put some market stalls in here for these guys. Um, that one right there. Market right there. <clears throat> Where to? This is the main path into town right here. Because we kind of blocked everything off. So let's give them something to see as they, as they come in. Uh, shift there. And I feel like you're off just a little bit. Let's turn you like that. And like so. You demolish, make a new one. <clears throat> Should be the same orientation as the last one I did. That looks pretty good. All right, right there. You can be, first of all, woman and men laborer. And... 
Let's give you, I'm curious, flour, potato, uh, milk, and fish. Potato is the closest one, but flour, well, flour is actually not that far either. Flour is first on the list. Fish is the furthest one. Fish, you go there. Flour, you go down there. Does she go to get fish first or potato? Is it by order or by distance? Let's find out. Turn him on. Right there. Of course, you've got to walk to it, don't you? You are walking to work. So you won't make that decision until you get to work. So we'll just wait for you to get to work. First week of February. And you went to fish. Awaiting fish. So they do, they do it in the order. Interesting. Okay. Then... Let's no men, no women, and let's have you get shoes first. Is that the wisest thing? That means you'll always stop everything. You'll get one more tenth of a shoe. Hmm. But if I don't, you'll never get any shoes. Okay. We do want to sell shoes, so let's do that. Shoes, clothes, then sunflower oil, then beef. Okay. And a hire? I didn't. <clears throat> right there. Hopefully a laborer will pop into here as well and bring another load of something. Waiting point one potato. The point one is the hard part here. But we can't get a second person in if we wanted to. So I was just going to take their time and, and do that. But interesting. You went for point one fish. Now point one potato. Are you now going to go for point one milk? Of course there probably isn't any. None. Oh. That's a waiting reserve, okay? Nothing there, nothing there. So you're going to do what now? Uh, you're going back for fish. Okay. Hmm. I see. Family out of money. You're over there. You're the manager of the trading post. And you still can't... They, they, they must have a spending issue. Yep. Must be. Okay. These are being done. We can get uh, someone else working at the fishing dock over there when that happens. And you're over here. You're in Makita house. Yep, Makita, our living statue. You're still getting flour, though. So things are still functioning here. Everything but the water. Interesting. And since water is being gotten, even though he's stuck right down there, it must still count. As it's not willing to throw the family out because they don't have any water because someone is going to get it. It's just stuck there forever. Hmm, okay. Although I still don't get this one. Oh, because everything is being... We're waiting for it. So it's still counting it. But how are they at the far... Are they really working? They must be. Artem. Artem. Are you really at a windmill? Not that one. You really are right there. You're taking a rest. You just went home. <clears throat> now you're going to go sit on a bench. No, you just came from the bench. Where are you now? Uh, um, okay, let's try that again. Right there. You are right there. Okay. You were on the bench. Now you're on your way back to work. And we'll be perpetually waiting for firewood, fish, sunflower, oil, and water. While you continue to make wages, even while you're not working. Something's... You got some funny math going on in there. Mm-hmm. You really do. All right, February. Let's get somebody working at the fishery, the fish dock. Get you guys on your way over. The water is thawing. Getting real close to, uh, to being able to jump in those boats. And this one is so close to being done just need someone to put in eight thatch come on guys eight thatch before I have to trigger all the farms and all the building comes to an end in fact it will need to come to an end let's that's a laborer oh you've got two more thatch to bring over ah but let's go ahead and pause all of these so we can get everybody into the fields for the oh, don't do that for the, the sewing okay and hopefully someone still manages to work on that as well. But 
you guys are employed. There's still 25 fish over there, so there's still lots of fish in the economy. Um, do you guys bring fish into here? We should. And you got only 1.9. Hmm. Maybe that will solve by adding the other teal. Maybe so. While we're waiting, now we're basically there. Let's get this going. Slow down and let's fill these up. Sunflower is important. Let's get some of the first of the workers over here. I really want that to go. And are we correct? Fallow, fallow. Sunflower, fallow. Sunflower, fallow. There's an extra fallow in there. This is out of sync. This is out of sync. Hmm. The orange is on this row and it's not on that one. Okay, so you are sunflower. Right? Yep. Yeah. And you are fallow. Alright. Sunflower, fallow, because you're less, far less than 100. It'll gain 15%, so that takes it up to 70. Which almost could still do it. Pause. 70, it needs 100, but they only do about 70% of the growth. That could do it. Alright, I'm going to do that. Though, everything's out of sync here. So this is this year. Uh, so sunflower, next year is going to be sunflower and then fallow. So this year, you'll have 70%. I'm going to go for that. Sunflower, fallow. You, 100%. So sunflower, sunflower, fallow. Alright. I think we can pull this off. Because we've seen the growth bars. They never go beyond 5 eighths to 3 quarters. So 70%. That is it. Um, you... There's 61% in there. We're going to plow another 15 into it. So there's 76%. And that's three quarters. And we don't ever get to that point. So, yeah, I think this is a plan. We're going to get twice the growth of sunflower seeds out of all this. So you are 100%. So we get two rounds of you in there. And last one. You're at 67. You're going to be 70 something. So he's never really going down as far as, as it should. So yeah, we can pull this off. Sunflower and fallow. Okay, I'm glad I checked that. Alright, we'll do that then. You're full, and I really want to make sure this happens. I'm going to go ahead and, and do not that. Right there. Uh, bring you back. Game start. Alright, it didn't fill up like I was hoping. Okay. Turn you on. There you go. And you... There... And you there. All right, this one still bringing the two over. Get the speed back up. All right, so are we waiting for anything? 28 more days. Did I see a met? I've never seen a 28 before. It's always from 25. Really? Okay, well, boy. It's almost like the message didn't pop up or I completely missed it. Um, sunflower oil, we do have in here. 20. We have in our storage, our warehouse, another 7, no, another 9. The town has 2, which you can divvy up and send out. Let's bring you up to 30. Uh, lost you right there. Bring you up to 30. Right there. Okay. You're 30. And what? This. Let's do 20 right now. And then hopefully the other 10 will arrive before this 28 runs out. So... 20. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, right there. So, deal. 20 is going to uh, be bought in 18 days. That's how long it takes to make the trip. Which, when that happens, we'll see if 10 can get there before then. Because after that, they will just sit there and, and load and they won't actually go and get any more of this. And I can't turn on laborers. I can. It's on. I've never seen it happen. It doesn't. It never pops in. Interesting. All right. We are plowing. Okay. Cows? Ooh. You guys came over here. That's interesting. What are you guys going to do? 
Use fallow field. Oops. And let's get two workers in there. Use fallow field. Okay. Use, 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 and use. One person working in there, two in here now. Hmm. I bet you they won't go to use the fallow field until someone's there to lead them out. Yeah, kick that up for a moment. This one. Okay, so what happened here? Two are going there. Another broken cow. Okay, you guys are going here. All right, let's watch this for a little bit. You guys just arrived. Do we see another cattle train leaving? And one thing I want to do is I want to verify once and for all that it truly is a 15% increase. They're all going here. So they picked a different field and all the cow shit. Oh, okay, these guys dumped over here. All right, that worked. And you are someone, okay. But two loads went over here. Anymore, there's another load and they're all going over here. This must be the official closest fallow field now. Or something like that. Okay, this is the fallow field, the, the, the cow field now. Okay, I want a this one. Where's one that's just starting? Okay, waiting for somebody to jump into one of these two oxen teams. You're just finishing as well. First of these three that take off. There you go. Okay, you are starting out. <laughs> Never mind. 100%. Okay, next one. <laughs> I want to know how much, with certainty, that, that was the fish, that, um, what's happening here? I never turned you on. Oops. I did turn you on, though. How much does the plowing actually increase it? That's what I'm trying to spit out here, but I'm a little surprised at how little is happening right now. This is all off. I guess we're just waiting for folks to make the decision to find a job. Okay, here we have only two people. All right, let's bribe you to work. And did this ever happen? Someone came back in and worked here? Yeah. No. You. So we really still have too few people? Is that a thing with so many houses? 140? Wow. Okay. Take you back down again. No, it was you. That was just a temporary thing to get somebody back in there to finish the job. Okay, there we go. You are going where? You're going here. Good. We're not at 100% on everything. All right. So you are at 71 and 78. I'm expecting a 15% increase when the plowing is done. It doesn't seem to be happening real time. Okay, I'm looking over my clock. I guess I do need to shut this down after this. Well, there's a lot of cows in here. All right, so you, 71, 78. Let's see what it goes up. Let's see if I'm remembering correctly that it's 15%, because that's what I was telling Murphy today in one of his uh, videos, that there's only a 15% increase from plowing. It's 100% increase from fallow. But plowing gives you 15. Okay, 71 and 15 is 86, so yes, 15% increase, that we make that a 93, yep. So, 15% increase from plowing. So that's how you can take what, you know, you're starting off with a 41, and you're going to use, can I, yeah, potato, it's going to use 40, so back to potato, and you've got 41, and if it hasn't been, plowed field one it was actually on fallow had it been plowed we could have gotten one more round out of this we could have just like the sunflowers we can go one more round without following it out okay so next episode or, or after i've done recording i'll add another round to all of this so 41 plus another 15 is 56 and it's only going to use potato 40 so that's going to leave 16 that time if it goes 100%, but it doesn't go 100%, it goes about 70%. We may even get another round out of there. So it doesn't use up a whole year's worth of, of growth. Uh, the, the nutrients drop as the growth bar increases. 
So can we see that anywhere real quick? That's field one. There's still we're still sewing everything. Uh, field one over here, still sewing. Okay. So yeah, still sewing. Maybe next time if I remember to, to look at that, we'll see that as the growth moves up. You know, to, there's 50, 25. So as it gets to to like 10 to 15 percent, we'll see this will have gone down 10 to 15. So as it grows, it goes down, and they never get beyond about here. So it's only going to go down that percentage of the number. So you can start after you've seen the patterns over and over again. You can start to predict just how much you can actually get out of each field before you got to follow it. So with that, I think I need to call this one done. We're hurting over here. Really are. Oh, I hate to go to 120%, but I really need this done. That's a that's a, something that we can sell. You guys are happy. You guys are mostly happy. And that's hemp. That's important to do. This is over here. Fine. Our, our, no, okay, we made it. I'll leave you there. Okay, this has been Noble Rambler. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.